Oh gosh. Um. Hey, what's up guys, Keaton here. So right now it is Chinatown Tech, San Francisco edition, part two. Part one was crazy, and to be honest, I didn't expect to be making this video, but you guys kept commenting on all the other videos saying, dude, where's Chinatown Tech part two? So go ahead, check out the first video because all the prices are gonna be in there. I don't even remember how much this stuff costs. I filmed this thing like two months ago, so go comment over there, I watch, just to make sure you guys have actually seen it. So here we go, here's Chinatown Tech part two with fireworks? So in case you guys haven't seen part one, I know I'm holding up two fingers, but this is the part two. Go check out the part one. This is what I picked up from Chinatown, San Francisco. It's called Chinatown Tech. It's this thing I do. I bring $100 to different Chinatowns around the world. Haven't done the global one yet, but I have done a lot in the US. So that's awesome. So I go there with 100 bucks, see what I can find. This is what I got and what I got first is kind of something interesting. This right here is the Nomad. You guys have probably heard of this. This was actually a Kickstarter and I knew it when I saw it. I forgot how much this thing actually costs. This is what you'd like get in the mail and it's crazy because I think this was like a $29 option on Kickstarter. I picked it up for five bucks. It's crazy cool because as you can see, it's a card with a cable in it. It's a charge card is what they're calling it. So you have a USB side here, you can plug this in and then you have a lightning tip. So that's really awesome. Where's my phone? I got my phone here. You can plug it in, bam, you're covered. And then where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? I don't know where my wallet is, it's lost. But if I had my wallet, I could slide this in and always stay charged. Also in the video real quick, I got this $2.99 lightning cable and I said like I don't think it's gonna work it's probably gonna blow up my device it's three bucks if this burns my device down I would not be surprised we gotta get it so I want to try this out real quick this is the thing I was most excited about kind of crazy I know right I'm weird if it works I'll be happy well I think I was right it's plugged in yeah that does not work I'm getting that out of my iPhone so if you're ever in San Francisco Chinatown do me a favor, don't pick this up. Now I gotta pick it up and move it somewhere. <laughs> the last thing for like cables was something I also found really cool. It's kind of like the Zippo lighter retractable iPhone cable. It's kind of cool, you won't really lose it. And with these cables, especially the one I just tore up, they're gonna get tangled even if they weren't in two pieces. So this kind of keeps it all nice and neat in your bag. You can throw it in your purse, your wallet, your pocket, whatever. It's this right here, you flip open the top, you got the chart. That's actually really nice. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Get some length here. Plug that into your iPhone. Plug this into your computer. When you're done, that's even longer than I thought. That's even longer than I thought. Bam. You just tuck that in there, tuck that in there, click it together, and you're good. It's the iFloss. Ding. Next up is these Burger King looking iPhone cases. These are gonna be perfect for my weird iPhone cases series that I do with like celebrities. I got a new one coming up real soon. I'm not saying it's with Leonardo DiCaprio, but I'm also not saying it's not with Leonardo DiCaprio. We got some french fries here. Don't actually have like an iPhone 5S on me. I only have an iPhone 4. Wow, we have a duck. And it looks 3D, it's not just a graphic. Like, that is a 3D, you see the bill on that thing or the beak? Is it beak or bill? Let me know in the comments right now. That is some thick rubber. You drop your phone, the beak is going first. It's gonna protect your iPhone. And then this burger fries king looking one looks all right. Does not smell like french fries. <coughs> Ew. Next up is something really crazy and hopefully it works because then it's useful, futuristic, it's gonna be in the iPhone 8. This is a wireless charging pad that you can plug into any iPhone. It's got like the lightning tip right there. And then this is a wireless charging pad. You can use it for any device that has wireless charging, that Qi stuff. So in the Galaxy S8, the new G6, you're gonna be covered. I wanna try it in my iPhone. You get what I'm putting down here. Could be a video in the future. I'm gonna plug it in. You see it kind of sits and if you had a case or something you can tuck it behind here and that actually looks really good so just assuming that this one works it looks like it's gonna work I got this one already out might give away that other one let me know if you guys want it here we go we're gonna see if it will wirelessly charge my iPhone no freaking way oh my god it worked it freaking worked we are still charging we are still charging wirelessly. 
Okay, I know there's a wire here. I could get a wirelessly charging battery pack and just make it even that much more wireless. But when I take the phone off, it stops charging. Put it on. Bam! Just like that, you're charging wirelessly. How does this thing work, but a standard cable? Like, not... I don't get it. Last up, what you guys probably have all been waiting for, you can't expect your boy to go to Chinatown and not pick up some fidget toys. We got a fidget cube here, fidget spinner, and she wanted me to buy some fireworks. Like, put the bottle rockets in the spinners or no? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I legitimately bought fireworks in Chinatown for under $100 and I got all this stuff. So let's check out this fidget cube here. All right, so this is your standard fidget cube. It works, it feels really cheap. That ain't an official fidget cube. We definitely bought a Fugazi cube. This feels like it should be a dollar. I don't like that. All right, the spinner, it better not let me down. All you have to do is spin. That's your only job. You have one job. Okay, you're doing your job great. You're getting a promotion. This spinner works, feels good. It's doing its job. Now let's see how these bottle rockets are. Yeah, no, those are the real deal. So I'm gonna hop in my bathroom right now and we're gonna see if these actually work. So guys, we're here in my bathroom right now. It's crazy, it's an enclosed space. I got these bottle rockets, but what I just learned is the whistle ones, so they're not as loud as the other ones. So make sure you guys have your volume all the way turned up. These things are probably gonna go like, and just like not be loud at all. So hopefully that's the case. We got a fidget spinner here. Let's see if we can make a fidget spinner go 10,000 miles an hour. For the spinner gods. Nope, that ain't happening. I'm getting two down there. Oh gosh. Um, we are not doing the second one. Did you guys hear that okay? Oh jeez, that was way louder than I thought. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop a like on it. If we hit 25,000 likes, I'll do the LA edition of Chinatown Tech. Los Angeles, I heard, is really lit. Thank you so much, Rikos, Tom, and you won't ever know for having my notifications on. If you guys want a notification shout out, turn them on and let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're new and tweet me at TechSmart if you guys have any other Chinatowns you want me to go to next. I'm never lighting these off again. Bye. Can you guys Snapchat me if you guys think this chicken's cooked? Matt left this chicken on the grill for 30 minutes. He told me to shut it off. And so Shane thinks it's good. Please let me know. I don't want to die.